What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. Prepared and ready. The one and the only. Very good child. Yeah, hell yeah. Yes. What's up, homie? How you doing? I'm doing well. For those that may not know you, sir, can you uh, please properly introduce yourself? Let us know whereabouts in the world you are. Plug and promote anything and everything. Well, hello, world. I am Vertigo Child, but some of you may know me as Frank. That's my real name. Spoiler alert. It's out there. Now, now, now y'all can all blast that chat. There you go. I see you. Um, I'm from Buffalo, New York. Good old upstate New York. But when I first got into this community i was in nashville as you also probably learned throughout the duration of time i've been in here uh i'm playing with johnny craig tomorrow night that's amazing that's awesome For the third time the, the third, third time. time that is awesome dude why why move from from buffalo to nashville and then back to buffalo like what what is the story there was that was that a music move that that occurred it was a music move, yeah. So I was, I, I felt like I had reached a ceiling here. I felt like I could do every single thing I possibly could. So I was like, okay, I'm going to take the risk and I'm going to move to Nashville, which is like the music city and like the songwriter's town, see if I could elevate myself that way. And turns out when push comes to shove, it was just bad luck upon bad luck upon bad luck. You name it, it happened. Everything went wrong. So it was like, you know what? I got to move back home. I got to get back on my feet. And pretty much as the story goes, everything's been going pretty swimmingly since I got back. So, so when you, when you moved back to Buffalo, was that back with the same band members or was it the process of like kind of starting all over again, as far as band members, uh, regarding the live show aspect? Same dudes. Same dudes. Same, same dudes. guys. Yep. Cool. Hell yeah. Uh, the love isn't blind EP. Let's talk about that because it's it's so damn good, bro. How do you where do you get your inspiration from as far as your writing material, the lyrics that you come up with? Is that a process that goes in the studio when you're working with a producer, or are you bringing demos and then they kind of get evolved and changed? Or just talk about your process. So honestly, it's unlike it's very unorthodox and like very unique. So I co-write with. Rio Wiley, whose music I have requested in here numerous times. And that, this previous, well, this most recent release, him and I got together and I was like, look, I think it's time for the next one. And he pretty much fleshed out a ton of demos. And I, I was like, here, this, let's do an inspiration from this and this and this and this and this. And he put together these very rough ideas. Like, what you hear now is different compared to what I heard before we went in. Like, a lot of the songs you hear now were way softer. Like, there were songs, like, they sounded so different. But him and I pretty much get together. We make things happen. And then I take that to RJ DeMarco, who is in Fernway, who I've also played, I've also requested in here. RJ is the one who turns the songs into what they are now. Bless his soul. He's amazing. Um, but, yeah, it's very collaborative, multiple heads. I'm a very collaborative person because... I find it hard to emote and express myself mm -hmm. the right way. So I need a little help there, like conveying exactly what I want to say. Well, it came out fantastic. And how does, how does the, the feature with a marionette come about? Like, was that a you suggestion or was that somebody else's suggestion? And were they immediately on board? Did they hear like the early versions or did they hear right away? Like the final that we hear, like, can you talk about that so... part of the process? Um, Izzy and I have been talking forever about doing something together because I actually became a fan of a marionette when he joined the band. I was like, oh my God, this dude's voice is insane. I need to like, did you, work you, you know a marionette prior to, uh, Izzy joining like the previous no marionette? Idea. I had oh. no idea. Okay. So I, I was texting him like, dude, we gotta, we gotta do a song together or whatever. And originally... I wanted Halfway Happy to have a female guest spot. 
and because I was like, I see the vision. The song was actually uh, inspired by Half Empty by State Champs, which features Chrissy Costanza. So I was like, okay, let me take let me take influence from that vibe, but make it my own. And things just didn't really line up. So I'm like, okay, I might as well settle for like that high tenor range vocal. And I got Izzy, and I was like, oh, okay, but. Spoiler alert, because Hold y'all up. y'all like teasers and all that. I'm gonna give you the first one. Uh, next year there will be a re-release of Halfway Happy coming out with a female vocalist and maybe a music video. Really? Yes. Uh, there is there any hints whatsoever we can have about who the female vocalist is? The most uh, minute hint that will not give it away. She's from Buffalo. That's all I could say. Okay. She's from Buffalo. That's the tens of thousands of female vocals. Yeah, there's a, so there's a lot of people Doesn't here. Doesn't give us very much. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Did you bring hot sauce, sir? Unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> Have you thought about this as far as what you're going to pick for your trivia? Of course, movie or TV show you've seen so many times. There's no way I stump you because you've seen it so many times. You're going you're gonna to stump me regardless, but I'm picking that 70 show. Okay. What uh, what do you got lined up the rest of the year that that so, that we can discuss? I, I know you are you do a lot of shows. Um, the the push for, for the EP is still is still heavy. What what are you allowed to tell us? Um, so tomorrow night I play with Johnny Craig. It's amazing. As I stated, as Third I time. stated, um. There is another show getting announced next month with Fernway, who I was supposed to play with in 2022, but I got COVID, so I had to drop the show four days beforehand. So now it's my COVID redemption. Cool. Um, I have another single on the way coming either end of this year or first half of next. It all depends on getting artwork and... Things along those lines, but there's new single, there's some re-releases, there's some other things. Uh, maybe Saddy Daddy might know a thing or two about plans for next year, but who knows? I could end up at Froggy's with all the demand in that chat. Okay, that's awesome. So you're going to come to my stopping area. That's amazing. We'll, we'll promote that heavily if that's for sure. I think this first 70 show question is pretty easy but it will judge where I need to go from there. Um, I'm gonna grab this peach ghost pepper level 14. What did what did you bring in? I'm sorry. I have generic uh, hot sauce from a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> it'll work, it'll work, it'll work. This is the trivia, sir, good luck. In that 70s show, what is the name of the actor in real life that plays Kelso's brother. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, 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 I... He's not in very many episodes. Yeah, that, that's, that's how I know. I'm like, damn, he's only in there every once in a while. What is the name of the real life actor? Three, two, one. The answer is Luke Wilson, who's in yeah, Legally Blonde, Wedding Crashers, a bunch of stuff. Cheers. Time to die. Oh, oh but is, but is really hot. It has a peach finish, but it's so hot. <coughs> so you said... You said behind the scenes that you and Johnny have been talking a little bit about tomorrow, third uh-huh. show together. Mm-hmm. Is there any any uh, special things we can discuss regarding that? Um, No, but I'm going to be playing <laughs> pretty much a good majority of the record tomorrow night. But The uh, new EP? Mean, yes. Oh, how you feeling hot sauce wise? My mouth burns. <laughs> My mouth's on fire too. Is there who is like um, 
somebody that that you've always wanted to work with and or inspiration that made you just want to be a vocalist be a musician elvis presley elvis really i have so much elvis memorabilia it's insane can you show us something on camera uh let's see let me go see if i can find something that'd be awesome he pulls out the blue suede shoes yeah my mouth is on fire that one was so hot I grabbed the wrong one, guys. I grabbed the wrong one. All right, this will do. I have a hound dog in an Elvis costume, and it actually, if the batteries weren't dead, it actually used to dance to hound dog. Hell yeah, that's amazing. Was that like something that start from your parents just playing like old records, and you were like, who is this? Or, or like, this was Elvis one of the greatest musicians of all time like how did that start so it was actually my grandparents they took me to see lilo and stitch we're talking next year's 20 years ago so i went and i seen lilo and stitch and of course you hear heartbreak hotel in the beginning with the with the, the record or whatever i was like i like this and then of course uh devil in disguise at the end i'm like that's awesome i want more and then I uh, I just, every time I'd go over there, play Elvis, play Elvis, play Elvis. That's so Little cool, dude. The line. Little ways down the line, I get Elvis jumpsuits made for me by my grandma. So I have a Aloha from Hawaii 1970s white jumpsuit with the eagle on the back. And I had the leather from the 68 comeback. And I used to do full-blown Elvis shows in their living room. You uh, like for family and stuff. Yes. In costume, were you dressed hour, up in costume and everything? Full hour duration, ever like from I press play on on the on the CD and I do the whole thing, learning lyrics just off of listening to them. Wow, that is awesome. Do you uh, as as a professional performer now? Do you have any vocal te techniques or tricks that you do pre-show? You're feeling ill. This is what you would consume to make sure your voice is ready. Anything you do after a set? Uh, hot tea with honey all the way. That's the remedy. Um, lip trills. Literally before you go on, the, the stupid lip trills. As much as you might not want to do them, you can do them at work. You can do them anywhere, but it helps. All right. um, what else? Uh, I got the vocal mist recently, and that thing has been doing wonders. Vocal mist. Yeah, I've heard about that a couple times. I've heard that it works really well. Like the, is that the the one you like? It looks like a big asthma one or the, the face one that goes. It's literally, so the, it comes with both. So there's, there's the the mouthpiece and the mask. Interesting. Interesting. Hey, so in in the '70s show, th there's an episode where the whole gang goes to a club. One person in the gang gets in right away without having to show an ID. Oh my god, I literally remember this episode. Fuck. It's either... Oh. It's either... My, my I, It's either Kelso or Hyde. You gotta give me one or the other. Who are you gonna pick? I'm gonna go with... No, hold on. Yeah, it's got to be Kelso. It is Donna. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hot sauce one uh. more time. Uh, Vertigo, do you do you have... Were you in previous bands before you went full-time for VC? And, and was it a different genre? Or is Vertigo Child like your full first main band? So, prior to this endeavor, I was <coughs> suffering from hot sauce. Yeah. Um, I was in a post-hardcore metalcore band for, like, five years, but it was pretty much three years as a whole. 
called From the Branches of Tide, which I showed you one of the songs a good hot minute ago. Band with the Best Friends, pretty much that was the, the jumping off point for the professional career. Because I was like, I want to play shows, I want to do this, I want to get the merch, I want to do all that, put the music out on streaming platforms. So I did that whole thing, and then toward the end is when I realized, like, I kind of want to do my own thing. But, well, I mean, after the band broke up, it was a lot of depression, like, depression and everything. Like, you lose something you cherished for so long. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to do my own thing, and thus kind of the first song with Johnny, which was me just singing over a beat, I was like, okay, like, this is cool. And then obviously it evolved from there. What did you do in in the band, uh, in the post hardcore band? Were you, were was, you just cleans, or did you play uh, guitar also? I did singing and screaming. Oh shit! So you were like, you were like the guy. Mm -mm. Okay. What what caused the band to break up? Just out of curiosity. Uh, creative differences, a lot of drama, you name it. But honestly, um. We we may or may not be getting back together next year for a little revival slash proper farewell. Hell yeah, I love it. At least one one more hurrah for for everybody, and then it is what it is. That's cool. That's cool. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Do you have any phobias, dude? Is there anything that like freaks you out or or scares you that we may not be aware of? I'm not too good with like very high heights, like. I've always been very iffy with heights, Me very too. tall things. So, like, does that include roller coasters? Or, like, for me, if I'm on a roller coaster and because I know I'm, like, get the bar here and I'm, like, or strapped in, it, like, is it, like, a different fear? It kind of goes away. I love roller coasters, but, like, if I'm on, like, a rooftop, I don't like looking over the edges and, and stuff like that. Yeah, it's one of those things. Like I could do I could do roller coasters and theme parks any day, but like if I'm like really high up somewhere and it's like, nope, mm -mm, we're not doing this. <laughs> what's uh what's an artist that we wouldn't expect that you jam off off camera, off stream that we just we wouldn't expect Vertigo Child jams this artist? Uh more recently, Chapel Roan. Okay. I wasn't sure. It's funny because a few months back, I dropped one of her songs in here, and I was like, "I I don't get the hype." And now months later, I'm like, "Okay, I get it. Like, this is this is cool. It just kind of clicks." Mm-hmm. Are you a cannabis user? No, I am a little over three years free of alcohol. I haven't smoked weed in forever. I haven't Good done any you. of that. Good for you. Hell yeah. Give me a hell yeah. That's awesome. Good for you. Uh, if you played hypothetically the best show ever, best show ever. There's there's five or six thousand people here. You sell out merch. It's the best night ever. This is the meal. This is where we're going. The restaurant. The fast food. What's the order? I'm getting a rare ribeye steak. Rare. Rare. Bleeding. Okay. Still rare. moving. Heard. Just give me the piece of meat. Give me, give me a, get, give me a Dr Pepper, and we'll celebrate. We'll be all right with that. Hell yeah! <laughs> is there, is there a favorite spot in Buffalo that you go to get like the perfect steak? No, I mean my dad's, my dad's steak is amazing. So if he just pull, if I pulled up at his place or, or just wherever the show was, I'd be like, come on, you're gonna pull up <laughs> to the show and get your steak. Are you a one guy or or no sauce needed? If it's cooked right, we're just grabbing. Uh, it depends, because he, he he has this marinade, which is, like, barbecue sauce mixed with, like, different things, but he puts the A1 sauce over it, too, so it's just a lot of flavor. Cool. When, uh, when it comes time to work on the follow-up to Love Isn't Blind, do you have an idea of the direction you're going to go? Maybe a feature idea in the future, and you, and you know it's so early, or maybe it's not. Maybe you're already starting demo stuff. I don't know, but like, can we talk about that? Uh, yeah, I've been thinking about it pretty much. Honestly, I've been thinking about it for a long time, but more recently, it's came to the forefront of my mind. And the best way I could put it 
is it's going to be even more authentic. It's going to be natural. Like things are just going to come off the chest. Uh, I'm still going to push the boundaries, still going to mix and match and do different things. But what comes next is probably going to be something that's separate from the first two EPs and everything before that. I'm not giving too much away. When you're when you're coming up with new ideas, because the band's back together, do is that something where you guys are like in your jam space and the band's like, I got an idea, and they just start drumming and coming up with riffs, or do you more prefer your process and maybe you're going back to the same people again for for the follow up? I don't know, but uh, it seemed like the the when you went to the previous producer, he kind of took your your idea and like blew it up the way you wanted it but now that you have like the band that you guys play in shows and stuff do you see what i'm saying like does it do you want that aspect of like we're creating in the jam space to be heavily incorporated yeah so we're i'm still gonna be very much involved with my bandmates like, I, I already sent them a playlist of the new inspiration and everything like that. So, like, they have an idea as to where things are going to go. Okay. But more recently, like, certain sounds and styles are coming to me that I haven't even really informed them of. Which, I, if they're if they're listening, I'm probably going to get a really mean message in the group <laughs> chat. <laughs> but, it's, it's, it's for the right reasons, though. It's for the, the, yeah. the benefit of the band. Mm-hmm. So things are things are gonna definitely be way more me, and like I I feel like there's things I haven't been able to do that I want to do, so I'm just gonna honestly take the leap and do it the best I can. But I have I have plans for something maybe a little bit longer than eight songs. Cool. It, maybe like ten more than that maybe maybe a little less maybe, do you think maybe do you think we could anticipate this by summertime of next year it'll be a, lo- uh, a little bit longer than that i want to i want to take my time on what's next because oh. obviously i want to give all these songs that are out now the chance to breathe and get pretty much get the attention that they deserve because i worked so hard on them that it's like i, I want people to still connect i want to just, just i want people that resonate and want to hear stories about how people connected, why they like this song, why they like that song, what the songs mean to the, what the song means to this person, to that person. That's awesome. I like that. Is there anything, uh, Frank, is there anything that we did not discuss today that you would like to mention or promote or just, uh, just talk about in general before we let you go, sir? Uh, shout out center. I know he's lurking in here. Because had he not told me to come in here, I wouldn't be in here. So thank you, Sinner. Uh, shout out, Heart Divided. I see you. Uh, I, I, I know I'm looking at the chat off screen, but I see all you with your with your kind words. Um, keep streaming. Love isn't blind. Share it. Add the songs to playlists. Um, keep an eye out for what's to come. I'm playing with Johnny Craig tomorrow for the third time. And uh, second show back home since the release show. I got more music on the way. I got re-releases on the way. I got something special coming up next year. Next year is also five years of Vertigo Child, so there's going to be a ton more with that. Uh, yeah, shout out to Septa Kitty. Uh, yeah, and then my girlfriend's in here, too. Everyone keeps calling me Frankie Moo Moo. Nice. <laughs> I see it. Yo, I, I'm Drop excited. What I'm excited now. for is the is the the remix version with the female vocalist there's also i'll I'll just leak this too there's also going to be a brand new version of petty energy petty energy dropping next year with the rapper on it Ooh. okay cool so we got a lot to look forward to show tomorrow with johnny craig for the third time new versions different versions of all kinds of things coming out uh, thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you. I'll, you. I'll I'll message you tonight, and we'll we'll choreograph together when we're, we're gonna drop this sometime tomorrow. Uh, as far as YouTube goes, but ladies and gentlemen, the one and the only Vertigo Chop. Yeah, hell yeah! Let's go! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much love, dude.
This is fun. Much love. I appreciate it.